how are you? I just finished a quick run into Sam's Club. I spent 300, a quick run, right? I spent $310. Essentially, this is like my um, filler haul, I guess I would say, because I have not ordered as many times this month from Walmart grocery pickup or Walmart grocery delivery as I have uh, the previous 30 days. So, but that doesn't mean I'm not going to be using that. It just means I've not made as many filler trips so or as many filler grocery orders so I needed quite a bit more stuff than what a typical filler haul would be does all that make sense so I will tell you I'm gonna go home and set it all up I did not do any footage going through the store um, I just really wanted to get in and get out but also when I get home I'll set everything up show you what I got but I did want to show you there are a few things that I am a little shocked um, there are a few things I can't say I'm really shocked. There are a few things that are definitely not in uh, stock right now. And that would be fresh chicken. And it's interesting because I talked to one of my friends, one of my blogging friends, Kelly from threeboysandadog.com. She lives in Alabama. And we've been friends for almost 15 years online. And she was recently at the store this weekend. She got a Costco membership and she was disappointed and she said they didn't even have chicken in stock there was no chicken at all they don't even have a place for chicken at her costco which yeah that would be frustrating but i think that it is the kind of trickle down domino effect and all of the chicken shortage stuff that we've heard about here and there and the price increases with all of that i think we are starting to see the results of that in the stores now there was nothing they must not be getting their supply and they must also um i don't know maybe they're trying to negotiate pricing i'm not really sure but i'll pop up a picture on the screen there was very very little to choose from but we'll go home and get all of this set out on the table and show it all to you and i'll let you know exactly what we got So let me tell you about each item that I have here and we'll just chat. How does that sound? Is that okay? And we'll have a random telescope right behind us. Okay. Sounds like a plan. All right. I got romaine hearts. I'm going to use them with our tacos tonight. We're going to have uh, chicken bowls tomorrow night. So I'll use it with that too. And we'll call it a day. You know what I should have got? I should have got limes and I didn't. Oh, well. You win some, you lose some. I got two bags of Caesar salad mix. Uh, Luke will probably have one for lunch. He loves salad. And then one we'll use for a dinner. I got some asparagus. They did not have any cauliflower. I still have some fresh cauliflower in the fridge from my last Sam's, no, from my last Costco grocery haul. So between that little bit of cauliflower and a little bit of broccoli I have left and that asparagus, that should be, and I've got some Brussels sprouts, that should make for a good uh, sheet pan side with one of our dinners. I got strawberries. These were like, these were like seven bucks, seven bucks and some change. Not even kidding you. That is super expensive, but you know, that's the way it goes. Hey, you know what's missing? You guys didn't bring them. Oh, the mangoes are here. They're just not on the table. Jeez. I'll have to get those. Okay. Blooper. All right. Here are some blackberries. Here are raspberries. So we like to mix these three up and eat them as a side with our dinner or the little kids love to eat fruit all the time. Here are our tomatoes. You may notice that half of them are missing. That's because it fell out of the car and half of them rolled down the driveway. And then we proceeded to step on them as we were like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. So that was fun. I got some apples. These are the Envy apples, um, which they're really sweet. And I needed some more Parmesan cheese. And the last few times I've bought it in the bag, which I love this. There's a certain brand at Sam's that I love to get, but this time I just wanted to get this that I can shave. You know, we'll pretend we're at Olive Garden when we're at home. My kids do like that, but really I feel like this might last a little longer. Um, as far as before it starts to mold kind of thing. 
So the other stuff I love, 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 love. But I feel like if we're not going to have spaghetti and lasagna a lot, this will keep longer for those, you know, in between, in between the next round of making spaghetti or whatever. All right, here is some avocados. I needed some that were already kind of ripe. And in the store, it's this one. This one feels ripe. So tomorrow night, I'll eat, I'll have these tonight on our dinner. We're having walking tacos. And then the others we'll try to eat up through the week, part of which will be on our chicken bowls that I'm gonna do tomorrow night. I grabbed some hot dog buns. I was trying to buy bratwurst and there were none. They were completely out of bratwurst, which was interesting to me. I think I have some in the freezer. I need to defrost them. That way we can have bratwurst for dinner one night this week. And then any kids that don't want a brat, they can just have a hot dog. We've got hot dogs too. Nan bread, I bought some of this because we've still got hummus that we need to use and little kids like to dip this in the hummus. Um, or they will also dip carrots and pretzels as well. I grabbed some of these. We're not gonna use these tonight for our tacos, but we may use them tomorrow night with our bowls, with our chicken bowls. I don't know, I gotta find out. I gotta finish mapping out the rest of our week and what we're gonna do. Uh, these are great though for quesadillas, which we will have very soon. Uh, I needed eggs, so I got a thing of eggs. I went ahead and grabbed a thing of half and half and a thing of heavy whipping cream. Both are great in coffee. I do prefer getting this at Costco. I'm just going to say it because I love the brands that they have. You guys, if you've watched any of my Costco hauls, you know how much I love the half and half there and the heavy whipping cream. But these are good. These are second. These are runner-ups. Runners-up. Runner-ups? Runners-ups. Runners-up? Runner-ups. I forget. But you know what I mean. Okay. Okay. Now, here is something interesting. Our Sam's, this week it says limited time only. They have bread by the ones, right? Sam's and Costco, you have to buy bread by the twos. This is bread by the one. That's pretty cool. I wonder if they're testing it. Market research really intrigues me, okay? Uh, we were out of turkey. We have ham still, but we needed some sandwich meat turkey. And then I did grab, there were hardly any of these, so I went ahead and grabbed one ground turkey. Uh, I will probably use one of those to make a meatloaf this week and then the other one I will freeze. Um, they had very little ground turkey and they had very little chicken. I'll pop that picture on the screen again. Super crazy. I grabbed a two pack of cranberry grape juice. I grabbed two things of milk, which we will use for cereal. I grabbed one of these cereals. I was hungry <laughs> and I grabbed this. So, sorry. Uh, they did not have regular spaghetti noodles, so I went ahead and grabbed this angel hair pasta. I know that we are on the cusp of pasta prices really increasing, so I went ahead and grabbed this. I do not prefer angel hair when it comes to spaghetti, but if that's what we have, then that's what we have. So, right? Until we learn how to make our own pasta. There, which I've heard it's very easy. There are six packages in here. I was out of salt, so I grabbed sea salt. Um... I was completely out of salt. I grabbed these to go with those. I was hungry. I'm not saying that I'm going to eat them, although I did open this and I ate some of these chips. If you've never had these chips, I'm gonna refrain from, from eating these, but these are a great snack or a great addition to, you know, whatever, when we have people over or whatnot. If you've never had these red quinoa chips, they are so good, so good. We were out of, all we have is ranch dressing right now, so I grabbed another one of these Olive Garden dressings, which we really, really love. Lenny, um, Lenny likes to drink the fresh juices. I grabbed him this. Costco, I feel like, has some better selections, but I grabbed him this. It has a total of 12. It was about $12, which makes these about a dollar a piece. Um, it was $12 and some change, but it's got mango, strawberry, banana, a berry mix, and a green one. He likes this kind of stuff and he has stomach issues if he eats things that that by stomach issues I mean like he has acid and there are certain foods that just make his stomach more acidic and that kind of thing so he likes sometimes to have this kind of a meal replacement essentially is what it could essentially be considered so he'll buy at San, at Costco he'll buy the big things like the acai juice or he'll, the other day he bought one that had kale it was green it had kale spinach but it also had banana apple whatever and it was pretty big i would say it was 32 ounces or more and he drank it within two days like he loves juice and jack does too like fresh smoothie juice i guess is what we would call it all right guys so i told you on the costco haul 
that Costco has their filters on sale right now for like $10 off. And without the sale, they were $39 for a three pack or a four pack. Now I can't remember. Lenny was like, you know, we don't, he, we have access to buying filters at the warehouse for like three or $4 maybe $5 per filter. Like it is super inexpensive. And honestly, you do not need this type of fil of fancy filter. You actually don't want something that's super restrictive because it can cause restriction. And the purpose of the, it, it can restrict your airflow. So the purpose of the filter in part is to keep your inside unit clean. And so this catches whatever is coming through. You don't want it to be so thin that like sugar or salt would fall through it if you were to shake it on there, but you don't want it to be so thick that it so tight and thick that it restricts the air movement. That's not good either. And that can cause problems for your system. Ask us how we know anyway. So, um, but we, our filters were super dirty and we're really good at changing them. We haven't been to the supplier, to the supply house to get our big, we usually buy like a dozen or two at a time because we can get them so inexpensively with, uh, from our, you know, since we have a company. Anyway, these were $42. Seriously, ridiculous. I had to grab them because I, we need to change our filters like a week ago. So I grabbed them. Hopefully we won't be in this situation again. This is a ridiculous price, but we had to have them. Holds as much as 50 dusting wipes. That's interesting. Um, anyway, so there's my spiel on filters. I grabbed the box of Fritos. We're gonna have walking tacos tonight. I have a recipe for that over on my site. I will leave the link below so that you can make walking tacos too. My vinegar that I buy, I buy a couple of these a month, um, at least one of these boxes a month or a big, big thing from Costco of vinegar. I use it with cleaning and in my laundry. Dr. Pepper, which you can see the kids have already gotten into. I grabbed some pinto beans. I grabbed some black eyed peas, which they didn't have many of these, but they had a few. And I grabbed these baked beans. Uh, we'll have these with a taco night or tonight with our walking tacos. This is just a great side that clearly they bought them just to have them for New Year's and they were down to their last few boxes. I love black eyed peas personally, but I can eat them in the can or make them from the dry bean either way. These we'll have with our bratwurst. I also got mangoes are back guess who's back it's mangoes so i am super super excited these are not real ripe yet but i since moving to san antonio i have fallen in love with mangoes and they will be here in full force through the summer so delicious absolutely yummy and then i got this pesto sauce this is what i will use and mix it with my ground turkey or you can do ground beef and make meatloaf it is fantastic you will love it did I tell you I got Go-Gurts too? I think I skipped right past those. My grandson loves these when he's visiting. I haven't bought them in years until he started visiting. And now my kids are like, buy Go-Gurts. Um, these are great. They're really yummy and a great little snack. Somebody's already gotten into them, as you can see. So there you go. There you have it. There's our haul. I'm actually going to get dinner going right now. Y'all wanna see what we're having for dinner? We're gonna use we're those gonna Fritos and make walking tacos. I have defrosted some hamburger, taco, well it's actually taco meat that's cooked, that I made back in September and froze it. We're gonna use this for our walking tacos. I'm defrosting this chicken. I will put it in the fridge pretty soon because it's pretty much, it can finish its defrosting process in the refrigerator. We are going to use uh, these. I'm gonna put them in the slow cooker tomorrow. Tuesdays are a big work day for me and I like to make dinner time easy. I also, um, I have a Facebook group called Get Dinner on the Table, and on Tuesdays, I do a quick slow cooker recipe over there, so I'm gonna show, if you wanna pop over and watch that, you can see me making these. I'll leave the link below, but I'm going to make salsa chicken with these we'll, in the slow cooker, and then we'll shred it, and we'll serve it over um, brown rice and other fixings. Yes, basically, we're having beef tacos tonight and chicken tacos tomorrow, essentially, but we'll serve it um, with beans and rice and some uh, taco toppings and have taco bowls. So that's that. There you have it. Hey guys, that is it. Thanks for watching and we will see you in the next video.